Planting with Pam. Hi, welcome to another edition of Planting with Pam. Today, we're going to take this little sunroom and turn it into a beautiful garden. What I did this morning was I went to a nursery, chose the plants that I think would be perfect in here, saved all the tags so I know the name of the plant and the best place to put them for the sun and the shade throughout the day. So the next time you see it, it'll be a gorgeous room. Hi, and welcome back to Planting with Pam. As you can see, we took this space and turned it into a beautiful little garden. We added some artwork, flowers, little things we've collected along the way. So let me show you around. The first thing we did was we got this little table and chairs to look like a little cafe. Some of the artwork here from my granddaughter Harper, she painted for me a beautiful little fish, a little turtle down there, so I thought that'd be a nice addition. Another thing I added was this beautiful little fountain. It drips water all day long and it makes it sound like a little brook in the background. Beautiful soundtrack for this room. And over here, I found this wire hamper in an old flea market. And I thought, what a nice plant stand this would make. So I chose a plant over here that gets a lot of shade. I put a little angel down there, bought this at an old antique store with a lantern because I had a picture that I took a long time ago of a shutter that I thought would go nicely there. And so this makes a nice little area with some artwork and some plants. And over here we had a potter's bench. It was natural wood, but I thought for this room it would look better white. So we painted it white. We put some plants that don't need too, too much direct sun. And then I put some little touches here. This rock my granddaughter Ella painted. This is my happy place, so my sister got me that sign. And then you can go and you can pick things up. For example, these shells over here look like angel wings, so I thought that would be nice to put near the angels. I put my grandmother's old coat rack and put some baskets on it. I used to make baskets a long time ago, so that would be a nice place to display baskets next to the lemon tree. And then down here, I found this old lobster pot on the side of the road in Maine. So I thought that'd be a nice place to put some plants and a little angel there. This piece right there, I also found in a, a flea market. It's just a bunch of wood, and I thought that'd be pretty around the plants. And one day I was walking down a side road near the beach and found this old piece of bark that fell off of a tree. So I thought that'd be kind of pretty around the pot, kind of hides the pot a little bit with that pot of flowers. So as you can see, you can take an empty room and with a little bit of effort and creativity, finding things along the way, whether in flea markets or on the side of the road or at a beach, you can make a beautiful little garden out of it. So I hope this inspires you to make your own little indoor garden. Well, that's it from Planting with Pam. So until next time, bye-bye.